But in the meantime, alarming new details about the Zika virus. The CDC confirming that the mosquito-borne virus could cause birth defects such as unusually small heads and brain damage. Here to break down the details is Dr. Ann Shuket, Principal Deputy Director of the CDC. This has gotten to be really scary for people. It seems like it is worse than um, you know, was originally feared. I, I want to ask you, we've gotten a ton of really specific questions from our audience that are fantastic, and I want to get right to them. Uh, are more than just pregnant women at danger? What is the risk to other people? The group that we're the most concerned about is pregnant women because we do know now that this virus can cause birth defects. Other people are likely to have a mild illness or no illness if they get infected with the Zika virus. There are some rare neurologic conditions, including something called Guillain-Barre syndrome, that is occurring probably in a greater number than we would expect following Zika virus. But we think the average person doesn't really need to be concerned personally unless they're pregnant or someone in their family is pregnant. And then we want to do all we can to reduce the chances of mosquito bites by restricting travel and by wearing lots of repellent when it gets into mosquito season. Can it affect infants? I mean, you talk about pregnant women, and we had a lot of people on Twitter ask, what about a newborn baby? Based on what we know now, the principal risk is during pregnancy or to, or to the fetus. But of course, we're at early days, and we still need to learn more about this virus. As I've mentioned, that as we do learn more, sometimes more concerning information comes to light. Yeah. The information we have right now is that when children get infected with the virus, they don't have a serious condition. But I think we still need to follow uh, the newborns, as you mentioned. A, a lot of questions from people asking about the ban on DEET and how we've changed the way that we protect ourselves from mosquitoes. Has this in any way contributed to what is going on here with this virus resurfacing and these mosquitoes really taking hold? Well, you're probably mentioning um, DDT, which yeah. has been banned, and that um, had some persistent effects in the environment and was banned. But we do have a lot of other options in the United States for insecticides, and we think we have enough options to be able to tackle this mosquito. It's a tricky mosquito. It's inside and outside the house. It bites during the day. It can be tricky, but we think that the uh, um, insecticides that are allowed to be used in the U.S. should be enough. But that doesn't mean we're taking this lightly. We know that we have a lot of work to do to control the mosquito population in both areas where the virus is already spreading and areas where it may spread this summer. Do you have an accurate test to test for specifically this? Because I've heard about people and we've heard on Twitter from folks that say they think they have it, they don't know. Is there a test? There are two tests that the CDC scientists developed that are being used now. One is for when you have symptoms, the week around the time that you have symptoms, like fever and rash. And that test is very good and is um, being rolled out to the states and cities to be able to run. Uh, there's a second test that looks at antibody. Did you have the infection sometime in the past? And that test is a little trickier. It's also being rolled out to states and cities to use. But if you've had another infection, Infection that's kind of similar, something called dengue virus, you might have evidence of antibody in this test, and yeah. you might need a third kind of test to be run to help figure out what you really have. And that third test is in very short supply. It's only done okay. in one or two labs. Re real quick, if a woman is stung and she's not pregnant yet, how long does it stay in her system? How long are you at risk, and should you not then become pregnant? We believe that the uh, virus is gone in a week or two, but we've um, suggested that okay. women that are coming back from travel areas where they might have gotten Zika um, delay trying to conceive for eight weeks. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. We had a lot of questions. We appreciate it. Thank you.